It's an ML Sports Take brought to you by Jam and Beats, Welch and Company Jewelers, and our great friends over at Rosie's Corner. Stop by Rosie's Route 11 in Burton today. Pick up a pastrami Rubens, some pizza and wings, and more. It is a proud platter supporter. Okie dokie, NFL week. Amazingly enough, right? Amazingly enough. NFL week three, just about uh, in the books. And just a couple of takeaways, a bunch of videos coming out today. I mean, I got to be honest, I don't know if the Dallas Cowboys can turn this thing around. I mean, they're one and two. The defense is getting shredded. They can't tackle. Derrick Henry was running through everybody in sight. The Ravens, I know they had their backs against the wall, and I think the Ravens are a really good team. But the Cowboys, when is the next level? Like, do they have winning players? And I heard Teddy Bruschi with a clip on ESPN this morning. I think he nailed it. I mean, you look at CeeDee Lamb and Dak Prescott, some of these guys, you look over there, Micah Parsons, they look like the game is over when it's still a little bit there for the taking. You make one big play, give the ball back to Dak, they get a touchdown, maybe the course you know, of the game changes. You know, he mentioned it like, I played for Tom Brady and you play for other people and you always kind of feel like you have a shot and you're a competitor and you got to be... The Cowboys' body language is brutal at this point with their superstars, and I, I just don't know if they're winning players. I, I really don't. Um, and the defense has is, is just gotten progressively worse. It's a major problem. They're giving up chunk yardage. This is a consistent thing for three straight weeks. Elsewhere, big win for the Lions on the road. They got back to basics in that one. Uh, played some terrific defense uh, when it mattered most. Montgomery's a stud within a 100-yard game. The Chiefs are going to Chiefs, right? And Bolton makes that big play. I'm not a big uh, fan of slants on third and fourth uh, and short yardage plays, by the way. That was just a terrible play call for the Atlanta Falcons. But the Chiefs are going to go on the road. They're going to go at home. They can beat you. They're a defensive team now. And they have a uh, you know committee approach on offense. Mahomes is still going to kill you. And the defense is A number one. They, they have the best defense in the NFL. Speaking of defenses, the Pittsburgh freaking Steelers. I mean, Highsmith, Hayward, Fitzpatrick, Watt. I don't want to face that defense at all. And I told people weeks ago, before the season started, that Justin Fields needed to be the guy. I got crushed by a couple of trolls on YouTube. Here we are, 3-0. and And yes, the conundrum being a Steeler fan, you're good enough to hang around. You're good enough to make the playoffs. You're good enough to beat good teams. Wow, Tomlin's a great coach doing all this without an elite quarterback. But the problem is, on the other side, you're not bad enough to get a really great draft pick. And, you know, you, you, you can't, you don't have an elite quarterback to get to the point where you need to feel like you're back into the big brand Steeler, big boy football being one of the top teams in the NFL, one of the historically great teams in the NFL. You're caught in the middle, right? On the one side, you are good enough to hang around, great coaching, defense, blah, 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 blah. Um, but on the other side, you're not a top level team in the NFL, which is your standard and you need an elite quarterback to get there. So uh, those are some week three takeaways here on the ML Sports Platter. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel at ML Sports Platter. We're all brought to you by Camillus Golf Club, Stanley Law Offices, and CH Insurance in your corner, chinsurance.cc.